What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Allie. <laughs> I'm a sophomore and a member of Zion 5. To kick off my testimony, I'll start by stating that my walk with Christ has been an inconsistent yet steadfast one. One may wonder, how can something be simultaneously inconsistent and steadfast? Words that are so contradictory that you might as well consider them direct antonyms. To me, just as abnormality thrives in normality, the truest stagnancy thrives in times of great turmoil. As a child, Christianity was never a certain ideal. Growing up and moving to America at the age of seven, from Korea at the age of seven, there have been many times our uh, family drew away from church, amongst dealing with the instabilities of the life that has suddenly unfolded for us, the life of a foreigner. But even while experiencing irregularities in church attendance and faith, and feeling ostracized in this new world, I couldn't help but feel the unwavering presence of God in my life. It was as if I was holding on to him by a thread, and all I had to do to experience his greatness was to swing from the thread to a firmer ladder, where I would start my foundation and continue to climb up as I walked through life. This transition from the flaying piece of string to the ladder was established during my freshman year of high school. I returned to church after nine years, and I was reintroduced to the church community. A few months after regularly attending Sunday service, I was introduced to house church. Adapting to the new environment was a struggle at first, but over time I grew and developed within Z5. Through sharing my story and listening to the story of fellow, stories of fellow Christians, I learned to laugh, cry, and most importantly, to love. As time passed, I grew closer and closer with my members, and soon our house church reached the perfect balance and equilibrium of a family. Of course, all good things must come to an end, and this equilibrium was broken almost as soon as it had been established, with the news of multiplication. I had no idea what it was, but multiplication was explained to me as a process that would be helpful in expanding fellowship by separating some house churches while combining others together. I quickly turned bitter and questioned why God would want to divide our beloved family, as it felt futile to try to fix something that had never been broken in the first place. But through prayer and the help of others around me, I came to understand that multiplication could be a good opportunity to open up to what God truly has in store for our Sinai congregation. I began to view our multiplication not as an end of something that was good, but a beginning to something that could possibly be even better. And to near the closure of my testimony, I want to share a Korean phrase that my parents iterated to me ever since I was little. It translates literally to become a person with a large plate. Although many of you may already be able to surmise the meaning of the simple proverb, to expound it means to become a person who can empathize with others, a person that can hold a great capacity. With new changes in house church and my personal life, I hope that I will be able to grow into a person of greater capacity with you all. And finally, to close things off, I want to thank everyone that has contributed to my growth so far, including PJ, all of Zion 5, my past and present LBS teachers, uh, my sister who is actually not here today, um, and my parents. Uh, the impact that you have all had on me uh, on my life has been too immense to describe with words, and I will forever be grateful for the wisdom, guidance, and love that you have poured out so gracefully. That'll be it for me. Thank you.